What is good, hockey fans? We've got a packed 13 game slate and just one hour to recap it all. It was a milestone night for John Tortorella, but his Flyers ran into the red hot Bruins who remained perfect on home ice this season. And speaking of perfect, it was only fitting that the Ducks were in Winnipeg as the Finnish Flash was honored pregame. Plus, the Avs and Hurricanes needed overtime to settle their clash and rally. All that and then some. I'm Sierra Santos, and On the Fly starts right now. Think about this. The last time the Devils lost, Elon Musk hadn't ruined Twitter yet. New Jersey's last L came against the Capitals on October 24th, a mere three days before the multi-billionaire purchased the social media platform. So retweet this while you still can. The Devils are the hottest team in the league as the team was chasing down its 11th consecutive victory in Toronto on Thursday, which would have tied the second longest single season streak in franchise history. It's not just the dubs. It's the way they're winning, outscoring opponents 43 to 19 over that stretch and scoring power play goals in nine of 10 games during the heater. Let's get a Toronto for the highlights. Well, Devils on their first 10 game win streak since 2006. They can match that 11 game win streak with a win tonight. That would be the second longest in franchise history. The record is 13. Comes back with Tatar, back to Zetterwood, and he rolled the shot through. Matt Murray down, and he'll stop Peacher on the doorstep. There's a one-time shot, the rebound, stopped by Murray with Aston Reese out of the box. And Matt Murray with his best stop so far. Morgan Riley, Marner down low. They're bunting, in front score. And that's an answer, absolutely right, Bill. Wait, Tatar back checking, knocked it free, setting up a possible two on one. He sure's in, he sure shoots, he sure scores! The captain does it again! Strength by Zetterlin gets it over to Nico Heesher. Heesher finds that far side top shelf. Ten minutes into the second period, there's eight ball with Yardco. Eight ball couldn't get it through, and it's set wide by Holmberg. Here's one of them. Jack Hughes putting Pulled the Devils lead at one. Hughes with the steal, trying to get to the net. And another good stop by Matt Murray. You know, if he doesn't have good technique sliding across and keeping it along the ice, that one's in the five hole. Matthews, Nylander, scores! 2.09 on the clock and the Leafs get even. The goaltender coming out, Matthews gets it to the outside. Nylander, just with that quick little shot, Hughes intercepts the pass, leaves can change. Hughes for the win, no rebound, Sharon Govich, he scores! Yegor Sharon Govich wins it in overtime! They just won't quit, and Sharon Govich, who hasn't scored in a while, that is a huge goal, make it 11 in a row, baby! Jack Hughes said it best, the New Jersey Devils are on a heater. They earned their 11th win in a row on Thursday, defeating the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-2 in overtime. Yegor Sharangovich notched the clincher less than a minute into the extra frame to secure the victory. Now let's hear from him afterward. I feel really good for the team when we have 11 game streak and we feel it really well when we have a lot of games win. win. We need to just put it back to empty net, I think, and First, I didn't know it's like it's a goal, you know, because referee hand is up. I'm just it's a penalty or something. I don't know if we're we're really focusing on the rest of the league. We're just focusing on the next game. And, you know, we put this one behind us and, and move on, knowing that you know we're just trying to improve our game in, in different areas. 
I think the New Jersey Devils actually forgot how to lose. They have gone undefeated in their last 11 contests and haven't allowed more than three goals in a game during this stretch. A win in their next game against the Senators on Saturday will mark the second longest winning streak in club history. And speaking of win streaks, the Bruins were looking for 10 straight dubs on home ice as they took on the Flyers. The Bruins begin the night atop the NHL overall standings. Hope to keep their home dominance. Sloppy coverage in their defensive zone. It's not the coverage, really. It's the turnovers and the kill. Hard to cover when you have possession of the puck and you just give it right to the Flyers. It's like the three of their four real good chances. Three have been bad turnovers. I think they call in too many men, aren't they? On Philadelphia, that is. Yep. If you're under a final minute, in the, in the period, and you want to make sure you close this period out if you're the Flyers, and make sure you go in at least 0-0. Pasternak leaves it dead in. Marshawn tries to wrap around in. And it appears to be no goal. It's only the second time the Bruins have gone down the tunnel tied in their first 17 games. Mission number one complete for the Flyers. They get through that first period, which has been so big for the Bruins. But period number two starts with another mission right away. Uh, Bruins had the wagon wheel going in the offensive zone. To Polito, throws it in front, and Nelson scores his second goal in two games. A lovely play sprung by Hampus Lindholm. The Bruins lead the Flyers one zip. Pasternak, the redirect by DeBrusque. Pasternak does it again. His shot is such a weapon that it sets up the slap pass. The Flyers will get another crack at the power play. Angelo to Hayes, right back across. Tippett, the shot, score! A seed from Owen Tippett. And a power play goal has the Flyers back within one. The Flyers have believability here. Now down one with half a period to go. From Bobrov for one hand. He scores 16 seconds after Philadelphia had drawn within one. And the Bruins will go on the power play with a chance to put this thing away. Low for Polito and Krejci has his second 4-1 Bruins. They are the fifth team in NHL history to win its first 10 home games. I wonder if that was the forecheck Torts was looking for. The Boston Bruins dominated the Flyers on Thursday, defeating Philly 4-1 for their fifth consecutive win. The Bees' power play came up big in this one, going 2-4 for four with the man advantage. After the game, Tomasz Nosek discussed the Bruins' recent hot streak. Yeah, I mean, winning is fun, right? Like, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun for us, and uh, I'm happy to be part of this group. It's a special group, and... Uh, how you said, winning is uh, five and two. It's uh, it's great, and winning is fun. So every shift is uh, is a gift, right? And uh, yeah, how you said, sometimes it's not just I have chances, but it's not going in. But right now it's going. So hopefully it stays that that way. And uh, the most important thing that we winning. And it doesn't matter who scores goals. A wise man once said, no one comes into our house without paying the price. The Boston Bruins certainly take those words to heart with their win over Philly on Thursday. The Bees remain undefeated at home to start the year, going 10-0 under the roof of TD Garden. Down to Carolina for a good one between the Avalanche and Hurricanes. And it's a special night, not just a really good game between two teams. It's Hockey Fights Cancer Night for the Hurricanes. All the way to the point. Flop by step onto the big corner. DeHunt gives it up. There's a shot in the block. They're saved by Francois. It'll go up into the netting. Pavel Francois able to get that blocker working well. And again, that is what we've seen out of him lately. Avalanche power play. 17 for 46. 37% on the season. Far side McKinnon challenged by Stahl. Try to get that puck up top. It's now loose. Turn around shot. Score! Rodriguez takes it in the circle, turns, and he beats Ranta, who was completely caught off guard by the turnaround snipe. And the Avs have a 1-0 lead. Pesci, back to Svenstikov. Gave it for Ajo, cross ice pass, save by Francois on the doorstep. He absolutely robs Ajo, who then punches the glass behind the Avalanche cage. What a tremendous push. 
by Pavel Francouz to his left. And Ajo will score! That shot was nails by number 20, and the Canes have tied it at one. Big draw, and look at that fight. Natchez not only wins the draw, puck retrieval, 50-50 puck, and you have Nason with a net front. Fired ahead for Newhook. He's got a break. Newhook shoots and scores! Alex Newhook all the way to the front of the cage to deliver the goods with a backhand. And the Avs have taken a 2-1 lead for Newhook. It's his third goal of the season, and he got sprung. Because of this collision, did Natchez know Francois didn't have a stick? He may have. And he waits, waits, and is able to tie this hockey game. And we're going to go to overtime. Here come the Fs in a three on two. Taves out there with Lekkinen and Telfer. JT down the slot to Lekkinen. He scores! Artur Lekkinen! The game-winning overtime goal from the far circle. And the Avs have taken the unlikeliest two points out of PNC Arena here in Raleigh. Two forces of nature met in Raleigh for the second time in a week, and the outcome was a thriller. Despite being outshot 48 to 15 on Thursday night, the Avalanche swept the season series over the Canes with a 3-2 win in overtime, thanks to a beautiful goal from Arturi Lekkanen. Coming up, there's perfect attendance, and then there's Phil Kessel. When we come back, the NHL's all-time Ironman makes it a nice round 1K in a row. Welcome back to On the Fly, out to Vegas, where Ironman Phil Kessel skated in his 1,000th consecutive game. Golden Knights hosting the Coyotes. Already the NHL's Ironman. Tonight, Bill Kessel will reach a milestone no one has before by playing in his 1,000th consecutive National Hockey League game. Golden Knights at 13 and four this year. Three of their four losses have come here in the fortress. That puck that ball with the stick would have been icing. Said Vimelka had to play it. And now it's icing the other way. Here's a look at it. A, look at the Toyota instant replays. It hits that stick right by the faceoff dot. Power play number two for the Golden Knights. Bill Kessel gains the line. Rink wide to William Carlson. Theodore to Carlson again, walking in. His shot. The Melka with a save, and he'll cover it. Getting this shot to the net. He got net presence with Smith in front, but the Melka able to hang on, cover up that rebound. Riley Smith drops it. Carlson shoots. And getting a piece was Lamelka. Last opportunity there, the lacrosse and drop, and the shot there by Carlson. Keller into the zone with a wrist shot off the post. Leighton Keller with a great chance. But now we got a little bit of a tussle. Olasar and O'Brien. Well, this was talked about off the draw. I could see it. They kind of came together right before that face off outside the blue line. And Quick conversation led to this. And the Golden Knights to the power play. Michael picks it up. Petrangelo will one tower and he scores! Alex Petrangelo with a bomb! There's Michael just out to Petrangelo. He walks right into that one. No hesitation. Marshall still had the chance. It kind of goes in the corner. Puck recovery. Eichel's in perfect position. Waugh dropping it off. Carrier trying to cut out in front. And he scores! Play inside. Watch Carey lean. Power just protect that puck. Takes it to the net. As he goes up front, gets the shot. It goes off a stick in front and past Bamelka. Brown looking. Pat save. Thompson rebound. And he can stop that one. Two with a glove. What a stop by Logan Thompson on Jack McBain. Michael out top. Dishing it off for Stevenson. Across the Petrangelo. And score!
their two game skid with a win in Sin City over the Arizona Coyotes. Alex Petrangelo got a power play goal in the second period to put Vegas on the board, while William Carrier notched the game winner with his fourth of the season in the final frame. When Mackenzie Weger said, I hate it here, he wasn't talking about jury duty or a mall parking lot on Christmas Eve or even Winnipeg. I'm kind of kidding. And so was Wegar when he said that about Amelie Arena. The former Panther defenseman and Jonathan Huberdeau don't have tender memories in Tampa. They lost two consecutive playoff series to the Lightning while with Florida. The duo hoped to wash out the bad taste as the Flames began a six-game, 10-day Eastern Conference road trip against the Bolts on Thursday night. The pass finds Lucic, Kadri in front, Lucic tries a shot, scores! Milan Lucic gets his first of the season. And John Cooper right away whistled for the official yeah, to come it, over. It, it was close, there's no question. It was close as Kadri and Lucic gained the yeah. zone. The coach's challenge is determined the play was offside. We have no goal, game clock is reset to 12.35. He's had a real nice run, including a four-point game. Here he is again, drops it off, shot, score! Second line centered by Nick Paul has been terrific as well. And Steven Sanko back on the goal scoring horse again now. And it's moved across to Weger. Weger's pass. Up ahead to Lindholm. Lindholm and shoots and Vasilevsky makes the save as Lindholm and Perfect kind of turned around a little bit on that play. That's deflected in by Hagel. Popped up by the Flames. There's a shot. Long rebound. Here's a chance. Hagel with a shot. Turned aside by Marsh. You got a piece of that. Flames on it. Points able to settle it down. Fires a pass up the wing. Here's Kucherov. Hagel going to the goal. Point falling up. Stopped by Markstrom. And the puck goes out of play. His point on that rush with a good luck. And Markstrom with a nice save. At the point by Sergeyev. Across. Quick shot. Scores! One time. Top shelf. Nikita Kucherov. Power play goal. Two nothing. And Nikita Kucherov, their leading point man. Gets his eighth of the season. Timer, big shot block right in front by Cole. So Foley in, steps in front, got it to Kadri. Vasilevsky with an unbelievable stop. Got him with that glove. The whole bench is up, banging their sticks on the boards after that steal by the Cat. The puck on the boards, under pressure though. That comes free. Here's Lindholm with a shot. Scores! Kadri in front. Lindholm puts it home. And the Flames make it a one-goal game on the power play. Make it interesting, to say the least. Good tight all night. Now it's a one-goal game. They score! A shot from Myers ricochets home. And they've got the two-goal lead right back. Too hot to handle. One more clear. And it's a wide-open net for Nikita Kucherov. That'll do it. And the Lightning are going to win their third. The sleeping giant may have finally awoken. Tampa has now won three consecutive games following a 4-1 win over the Flames. After going 3-4 and four in their first seven games, the Lightning have now gone 7-2-1 and one in their last 10 contests. Andre Vasilevsky stood tall in this one, stopping 39 of 40 shots in the win. Staying in Florida, the Panthers took on the Stars. Aiskinen comes out of the box. Five on five now is Forsling from the blue line. Shot blocked off the big skates of Hockenpah. Then comes right back to Lindell. And here come the Stars at two on one. It's Sagan drags, feeds it for Hintz. He scores! Rope hits on the Stars' first shot of the game. What a sweet gossamer pass by Sagan. Niels Lundqvist walking the blue line. Goes to the backhand. Now it deep chips it. He scores from a near impossible angle, gets it to the forehand, and sticks it shelf past Bobrovsky. Capitalized on their opportunities and have a multi goal advantage. And here's Ben trying to add to it. Jamie Ben, he scores! Ty's able to sachet his guy. Jamie takes the pill, and he's all business. Opened up Bobrovsky. I mean, splayed and then stuck at five hole what a beauty turnover and it's marchman who will come two on one with sagan mason marchman to sagan and scores bobrovsky thought he had it but it snuck through for hagee for Bennett. back it goes forsling 
For Hagee again, but couldn't play it clean. Now he moves in and shoots and scores! For Hagee, his 11th of the year, and the Panthers are on the board of the power play. Hornquist does a marvelous job of taking the eyes away from Redwood and never saw it. And right at the last second and over the left shoulder. Off of skates. Kachuk over skated. Now Haynes has it down low. He scores! Kachuk hands it off. Here comes Bennett right side. Bent to the left. Score! It's a two on one. The Stars chasing back to their own net. Rundell shorthanded breakaway. Save Wedgwood. Rebound. He got that one too. With the paddle. Not once, but twice, Wedgwood. And he looks like he's in discomfort. Yeah, that's not good when you see a netminder reach at his back. Yeah, he was just contorted in a weird spot and jammed with his skates up into the, the netting. Jake Ottinger comes gliding into that net. Panthers grab it back, hold the zone. Ekblad, a one-timer score! Another power play goal late into the penalty. Panthers trying to get through. And then it does. In front, he's got Kachuk, he scores! Kachuk, Kaching! We got a one goal game in the third. Look at the passing play of the give and go. Bennett over right across to Kachuk and in behind the defenders. One timer got blocked, chipped out to Ben. He'll turn, backhanded for Delandria and off a stick into the empty net. And the Stars win it by the final of six to four. Barn burners are always fun, aren't they? Well, except for the goalies and the coaches. After taking a 5-1 lead, the Stars surrendered three straight goals to the Cats to make the game interesting. However, Ty Delandria was able to put the game to bed with an empty netter to secure the victory for Dallas. Here's Stars coach Peter DeBoer on their road win. Well, it's a, it's a great win, great road trip for us. Um, you know, obviously... Uh, it wasn't exactly how we wanted to dry it, draw it up, but that's a tough lead to play with. And then with the goalie going down and Otter coming in, we got on our heels, we bent, but we didn't break. Um, you know, tough trip. I think I was talking to the guys, and I think last year they came down here and didn't get a point or only got one point. So these, these are tough teams and tough buildings to play in, and I'm proud of our group. Mike Heike tweeted the following update on Stars goalie Scott Wedgwood after the game saying, quote, Wedgwood was walking around in post-game locker room and seemed in good spirits. He has an upper body injury and will be further evaluated in Texas. So sounds like good news after a really scary moment. After the break, come for the hockey, stay for the fashion. The Blues and Wilds broke out their reverse retros for the first time this season. Oh yeah, they also hosted a couple of Eastern teams desperate for wins. Welcome back to On the Fly. It was a battle of veteran clubs in need of two points with the Blues hosting the Capitals. And Kyru leaves it for Shen. He walks in, shoots, and he scores! What a shot by Shen! Barbashev wins the battle there, and Jordan Kyru feeds it over to Shen. Shen had a late man, Mikula, join in the rush. He was on the left side. No, that's a heavy swarm right there. You're right. Uh, you had a, a forward Tarasenko cover the front of the net. Buchnevich, what a wraparound goal! Do nothing, St. Louis! Buchnevich fakes the shot here. So the goalie has to respect that. He goes down to the butterfly, and it is a perfect wraparound right there by Buchnevich. Thomas in the dock. Krug fires, and he scores! What a blast by Krug and a power play goal! Ovechkin in tight, he scores! Alex Ovechkin set up beautifully by Dylan Strome. No chance for Grace on that play because of the hard work and the beauty of a pass by Dylan Strome. Two on one, Carlson and Dowd. Fires, go! John Carlson! And that's a shorthanded goal for the Caps number 74. Back for fall. Return feed to Levo. To the goal line, O'Reilly shoots. What a goal by O'Reilly to the top corner! Levo goes to the right, doesn't shoot it. Oh my goodness, holy jumping. What a backhander there by Ryan O'Reilly. With the netminder pulled six on four. Closing in through the seam. Carlson rockets to score. 
So he's got a shorty and a power play goal here for the Washington Capitals in his 900th career game. Crisscross at the blue line. Then no one picks up Carlson. Steps to the outside, fan on his first pass. Tees it up for Kuznetsov, dancing in. Score! Sherry has tied it! I mean, another beautiful passing play. Ovi gets spun around. Kuznetsov does the hard work through two defenders. Here comes Buchnevich. In round six, he comes in, waiting, fakes it, and he scores! What a shot by Buchnevich! Even on the rush, the way he works his blade, pushes it ahead, it's his go-to move. Here he comes. Sherry in. Waiting, and a save by Grice! His first win as a Blue! Can you hear the Caps fans singing the Blues from here? St. Louis has now won five in a row and are not slowing down. After gaining the lead early in the first period, the Blues never let up. The Caps found the back of the net in the middle frame, but couldn't complete the comeback to end their current losing skid. Now let's hear from Thomas Grice after he secured the shootout win. Yeah, it was a fun game, you know, lots of shots, and uh, yeah, happy, just happy to get the first one off my back. Well, and with that lead early on, do you think that's kind of a, a little bit of false confidence uh, against a team like Washington that you know that they can come back? Uh, maybe, yeah. We, we knew they were a good team, you know, they were pressing hot there at the end in the second period, but yeah, happy we got away with the win. Okay, how about that glove save that you made tonight? You saw Jordan Binnington make one similar last night. That must have felt great. Yeah, it was fun, you know, like watched him doing it plenty of times. It's been awesome for us. Yeah, happy I could make one too. After the Blues went on their franchise worst eight-game losing streak, they had rebounded like none other. Well, almost like none other. The Blues earned their fifth straight win on Thursday, tying the second-longest winning streak for a team that had just lost eight or more consecutive games. Out to Minnesota from Pens and Wild. Minnesota are going to take their share of penalties, as you mentioned, Mirzi, and, and they're going to try to force the issue physically. Rosby, he scores! Sidney Crosby, what a snipe! And the Penguins have a one nothing lead. I'm startled, and I think the goaltender, Gustafson, was. I mean, that, that was a rocket of a shot from Crosby through a screen. Archibald to the middle. Luger across, it's score! It's Ryan Paling! Back in Minnesota on the rush! 2 nothing Pittsburgh! Fourth line grinds, they, they don't let the Wild get a change. Duhay moves in and scores! goal for the Wild. Brennan Duhame. Erickson Eck can it's off the post. They score! Erickson Eck took the first shot and hit the crossbar and then appeared to hit Jari. The Wild punched it in on the rebound and it's two goals on the same shift. Sidney Crosby. Crosby stick handle. The tackle. One there time. He scores! It's Chris Letang! What a time for his first of the season. Five on three, power play goal, and it's 3-2 Pittsburgh. Great passing, and then Sidney Crosby finds that seam. The Penguin power play chance, Crosby with authority. Leaves it for Gensel. Gensel, and backdoor Crosby, he scores! It's Crosby again! A virtuoso performance tonight from the captain. 4-2 Pittsburgh. And this is a rush goal that the Penguins score on the power play. A beautiful masterpiece between two of the great Pittsburgh Penguins and Crosby and Gensel. Here they are, three on three, short-handed. Good draw to Erickson. He scores! Fourth short-handed goal of the year for Minnesota. And Erickson has the Wild back within one. That was a turnover right at the strike. Back in the kid. He scores! Brock McGinn! He beats Gustafson from way downtown. Jake Gensel breaking up ice ahead of the field. That is empty. He's the king of the empty netters. He is. Jake Gensel on the score sheet with a goal tonight. Dumbo scores off the feet from Kaprizov. The Wild cut it to 6-4. And the Pittsburgh Penguins start off this road trip on the right note. The Penguins came marching into Minnesota on Thursday and left with a victory. The captain, Sidney Crosby, had a four-point night, scoring twice and getting two assists. Minnesota did put up a fight, getting goals from a variety of their star players, but fell for the third game in a row to Nashville for Islanders and Preds.
Here's Philip Forsberg. Busting in. Rebound shot. Save made a, a third try, and then a fourth try. Then a fifth one go. Oh, my goodness. What a flurry. In their last seven games against Nashville, the last time they won, gets all the way back to October 28, 2017. Pellet to the front, and they score. Adam Pellet's shot was blocked. Soros thought that puck was headed the other way. Here comes Cole Smith into the offensive zone. Put it in front, they score! What a tip! Cole Simpson upstairs! Yossi picks up his second assist of the night. Here he comes again, operating in the offensive zone. Feeds it back to the line. Nashville getting a gradual line change. Duchesne comes in for McCarron. That one tip off the skate in the net! This is why you don't pass up shots. Another face-off win. Flip to the net. Rebound. Score! Yuso Parsonis. Three games, two goals. And Nashville takes a 4-1 lead. Parsonis comes in from the right circle and picks off the garbage for his second career NHL goal in three games. Pellick looking for a lane. Nothing opens. Now sees one. Shoot. Score! Matt Martin and Cal Clutterbuck both in front of the net. Somebody got a tip on it, and the Islanders score the goal. Roman off. Off the glass. Pajot, first one to it, centering feet. Paul Mary scores! It's a one-goal game. Kyle Paul Mary makes it 4-3. And now we got ourselves a hockey game. The Islanders are, were looking for a little momentum. They, they got it in simple hockey. Yossi and Forsberg. Randley looks back door. An enormous power play goal. It's the rookie in front. Yusuf Parson, his second of the game. That's Barzell. Shoots. That one was blocked. Comes around. Lee between his legs. They score. Anders Lee put it back on net between his legs. Pajot on the rebound. And with 4.21 to go, it's 5-4. Four. four seconds to go. It's in the corner. Yossi has it. And the horn sounds. Everybody take a deep breath. The Predators have hung on again. Their third consecutive one-goal win on this homestand. The Predators held off the Islanders to keep their win streak alive, coming away with the 5-4 win. Yuzo Parsonen scored two goals on Thursday, continuing to prove why he's a crucial piece of the team's success. Roman Yossi also recorded four assists, making it his first four-point night since last March to Seattle for the Kraken and Rangers. Sealed off by Beneers, now Everly to the point. Morgan is shot, tipped in! Jared McCann in the dead slot with a magic stick, and the Kraken are off and running. It hit the skate of Hayek. Plays it to Panarin. Lindbergh on him in the slot. Church kicks it to Kreider. Score! Mika Zibanejad! It's a power play goal! And the game is tied, 1-1. With Jones on the other side of the net, Zibanejad had plenty of time to deposit that one. Seattle has to find a way to get more than six shots on Shesterkin. He's too good to have that few of shots on him. Gianni Gord up the boards to Brandon Tanev. Tanev sets up Schultz and a save with a glove and a beauty. Here comes a shot, good glove save. and Fired ahead, here's a breakaway for Strong. He's in, save with a glove, what a save by Igor Shesterkin. Man, is he making some saves. As he ever, Seattle has come off flying in this period. The Rangers defensively have not done a very good job to start the period. Susie gives it away. Break in, Capo Caco. Stopped by Jones, holding his ground. It's 1-1, but I mean, it could easily be a 3-2 type of game with the chances wedged by Goodrow. Good shift by Trocek and now Panarin. Drop pass, Keandre Miller. Here's Truba. Here it comes. Denied by Jones. The rebound. Martin Jones. Right off the pad. The Kudrow's finding it. And it's like it takes a kind of a crazy care of there to yeah. get to Martin Jones. Schultz. Wristing one. They score! A tip out in front. Jaden Schwartz. Staked out. We'll see. And Schultz let it fly. It looks like it's Justin Schultz with the goal. And the Kraken break the tie. Fires a deflection, rebound, score! Vince Trocek! It's a power play goal! And the Rangers have tied the game! The teams will play for another very valuable point.
Everly on the attack. The trailer is Tanev. Everly shifting gears out in front. A chance. They score. Hey, hey. What do you say? Justin Schultz. And the Kraken win in overtime. Right off the glove and in. That is part of the left arm. It is. And it finds the back of the net. And Justin Schultz gets the OTGWG. The Seattle Kraken defeat the Rangers on Thursday after dropping their last two games. Justin Schultz scored his second and third goals of the season, including the overtime winner powered by Energizer. Martin Jones stopped 28 of his 30 shots for his eighth win of the season. Now time for the top shelf plays the night. Lundqvist carrying on the backhand. Niels Lundqvist shoots and scores. Oh, wow, what a goal by Lundqvist, the defenseman, it's 2-0. Possible two on one. Heischer's in, Heischer shoots, Heischer scores! The captain does it again, and the Devils lead. Up the end boards, comes out the other side, and they score. Shifley to Connor, it's a hat trick with less than a minute to play. To Foley in, steps in front, got it to Kadri. Vasilevsky with an unbelievable stop. Got him with that glove. JT down the slot to Lekkinen. He scores! Arturi Lekkinen! The game-winning overtime goal from the far circle. Back for fall. Return feed to Levo. To the goal line, O'Reilly shoots. What a goal by O'Reilly to the top corner. And it's 4 to 2, a brilliant backhander. This overtime game. Bruins beat Philadelphia 4 to 1. They are the fifth team in NHL history to win its first 10 home games. The game winning overtime goal from the far circle. And the Avs have taken the unlikeliest two points out of PNC Arena here in Raleigh. He's had a real nice run, including a four-point game. Here he is again, drops it off, shot, scores! Steven Stamkos! A goal in back-to-back -back games, and it's one nothing. Lightning. Crosby, what a snipe! And the Penguins have a one nothing lead. That was a rocket of a shot. And back to Crosby, he scores! It's Crosby again! A virtuoso performance tonight from the captain. Tonight, Bill Kessel will reach a milestone no one has before by playing in his 1,000th consecutive National Hockey League game. They just won't quit in Sharon Govich, who hasn't scored in a while. That is a huge goal. Make it 11 in a row, baby. The New Jersey Devils sure like to hit the road. During their current 11-game win streak, New Jersey has won seven of those 11 contests on the road, tying their third longest road winning streak in franchise history. The longest came in 2001, where they won 10 straight away from home. Back to the highlights with the Habs and Blue Jackets. Ben Branson dumps back in. Far side. Well, this Evans tried to get to it. Jackets score! Surprising Montem Ball and the Jackets are on the board first. Now, a little unorganized for the Montreal Canadiens in their own end, and the Blue Jackets do a good job and they smile as they come by me here because a good bounce went their way. Trinikov taking it from Lee. Schellinger win, and there's the pass to Nyquist. Left all alone in front. Oh, just a quick play off of a face off. It's a, an intelligent play by Gavin Bayruder. Gets that puck at the point. And there's no hesitation in this game. It has been one of those games here in Columbus. If you talked about passes connecting and had the over-under, you'd be taking the over-under, you'd be taking the under clearly. Is that a spinning try? That drive, shot and goal as the Habs finally strike off a broken play. Right off the draw, turnover, wrist shot, score! Josh Anderson, 2-2 two -two tie. Now good roll, it's a two-on-one for the Blue Jackets. Good roll, showing patience, cross ice Johnson into the slot and score. Tic-tac-toe. Hoffman winds it up again at the blue line. He'll drop it off. Pass down low, score! Great pass to Gallagher, tie game. Corrali splits the defense, walks in and scores. What a beauty. Sean Corrali and the Jackets start right back and take the lead again. He 
He's going to try and drop back, but I don't know. There, he there it is. And scores. The set play. Olivier, who's Mike tonight, has restored a two-goal lead here in the third for the Blue Jackets. Here's Suzuki. He'll bring it in. Nick Suzuki. In front. Scores. Big shot. Nick Suzuki has within one. Don't go anywhere. We're not done yet. The net is empty. Race for the puck. Rally. He's got it. Locks in and scores into the empty net. Jackets restore a two-goal lead. Second goal for Corrali. Nice bounce at the line. And here goes Sean Corrali. This is the way he plays. Great to see him get rewarded with an empty net goal. Big smiles on the bench here. Team Mussolini and Teppo Newmanen will be honored as the ninth and 10th members of the Winnipeg Jets Hall of Fame, having their respective numbers 13 and 27 raised to the Raptors. A penalty coming up to the Jets. Terry picks up the loose puck. He's the sixth attacker as Gibson's on the bench. Two-man game on the left side of the zone. Terry shot, score! This was all because of the delayed penalty coming up to Neil Pionk, who had interfered with Mason McTavish, and that's why Troy Terry was able to get on the ice. Looked like Hellebuck got a piece of the glove on it, but not enough, and Terry has given the Ducks a 1-0 lead. Dubois, now there's going to be a fight at Dillon and Terry. Dylan did not like what was going on over there. Bit of a hug fest as Dylan goes down, and Eric is on top. Well, we've seen Brendan Dillon stand up for teammates time and time again, and a uh, real physical shift from Pierre Luc Dubois. Hit a follow up hit, and Carrick doesn't like it, and a bit of a battle axe from Dubois as he goes off. Curls away. Side of that feed. Dubois with a chance, and then he looked about it out of the air, and Carter scores! Connor with his third goal of the year from a sharp angle. Jets have drawn even with a power play goal now three in their last two games. Likes to look the same as Gagne. Center and Connor with another one. And the Jets have their first lead. Great work in below the goal line. Nice job going back and forth using the boards. And this is just a brilliant little backhand pass. Dishes it into the forehand of Kyle Connor and yups, he is number 81 on the board on the power play to open the scoring for the Jets. Zegers will pick it up and turn up the left side. His pass makes it through. Henrik waiting in the neutral zone, gains the line. Back to Zegers, he scores! Oh, he roofed it, he makes that look so easy. And the Ducks get it right back. Shot weakly by Zegers, long shot by Pionk. Shifley turns, sets it up. The Jets went duck hunting up in Winnipeg. It was an enterprise hat trick as Kyle Connor scored all three goals in Winnipeg's 3-2 win. It's the Jets' fifth win in their last six games. Connor Hellebuck continued his early season as a bid, stopping 29 of 31 shots in the victory to San Jose for Red Wings and Sharks. Here's a chance for LeBanc. Open. Here's Perron. Gets it across. Herod scores! On a pass from David Perron. Patience by Perron. Finds Perona Good on him to come down. Bertuzzi just returned to the lineup on Tuesday in Anaheim after missing a month. Here's Vienna. He scores! What a goal! Carlson again finds the streaking player who's over Vienna. Vlasic again, not the way low. Barkin able to move one. Kubalik back that way. Shot. Scores! The key to this is really to create space so Larkin would get this opportunity. It's not just the centerman, it's the wingers too. Rasmussen kept it alive. Wallman fired. Scores! Jack Wallman! What a blast! What an effort by Rasmussen to get that puck over them. Wallman just with a bullet shot through the crowd. Bergeron, Poleno, back into the slot for Suter. Valeno back there, Robert. He scores! Joe Valeno! This was a missed shot in the slot. 
Bueno jumps all over this. And this is what the Wings have been all about since the start of the second. Starts to win the draw. Here's Carlson. In the drop and they score! Puck comes through, hits Couture as he wins the draw. Goes to the net. Good shot by Carlson. Finding that little seam in there. There's a shot. to the net, off of the backside of Cobb, and I think this could be Eric Carlson. Braun with some room. Feeds off Sider. Scores! Once again, by the veteran Perron, 50s. He could have went deep. He could have reversed it. He could have went to the winger. He elects to go to Sider. Big win for Detroit. To close out California, they came out scoring tonight. They were down early, but kept the foot on the gas, and they win it by three, seven to four. After their shootout win against the Canadians on Tuesday night, the USA women took the ice for game two of their rivalry series up in Canada. Highlights coming up next. This on ice to on the fly highlights from game two of the rivalry series between Team USA and Canada up in Kamloops, British Columbia. In comes Laura Stacey. All along, Stacey tripped up. The arm is up. Will she get a penalty shot? a little close to the hands and she gets the call right away. The player is not obligated to take the penalty shot, so Poulin will. A chance of redemption, Poulin. In she comes, Deeks, she scores! Second time's a charm for the captain. Canada leads, 1-0. 35 seconds remaining, shot, they score! From the point by Rory Gilday, the Americans tie it up. Kristen Campbell, I think she saw it all the way. It's just a little bit of a miscue here. Sending it back down. Hillary Knight winds up. Rebound chance for Carpenter. She scores. Alex Carpenter back in Kamloops. Makes it 2-1 United States. Carpenter has full control. That will do it. United States taking game two in Kamloops. They are 2-0 so far in this rivalry series. The rivalry series shifts to the States on Sunday. Canada and the USA get back after it at 7 p.m. Eastern from Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle before playing two games out west in December. You can catch all the games right here on NHL Network. Time for three stars of the night. Our third star of the night goes to David Perron, who notched a goal and two assists. Second star belongs to Sidney Crosby, who recorded four points on the night. And first star goes to Kyle Connor, who scored a hat trick in Winnipeg's win over the Ducks. That will do it for Thursday. Just one game on tap for Friday. I'll be here with Mike Johnson to break down all the Kings and Canucks action, and we'll get you set for the weekend. I'm Sierra Santos. Until next time, take it easy. We celebrate survivors and fighters. Bill Gessel playing in his 1,000th consecutive game. The game-winning overtime goal. Sidney Crosby. What a snipe. What a wraparound goal. How does Carter Hart keep this on? Kyle Carter with the hat trick goal. Fourth blow of the opening frame. Oh, my goodness.